January 28th, 1986, Cape Canaveral, Florida. The sky is clear and cold, unusually cold. Seven astronauts board the Challenger space shuttle, including Krista McAuliffe, a school teacher set to become the first civilian in space. As the countdown ends, the shuttle roars to life. Families, students, and millions across the nation watch in awe. But just 73 seconds after liftoff, a white-hot flame pierces the side of the rocket's right booster. Ice had coated the O-rings, crucial seals never tested in such cold. They fail. The shuttle disintegrates mid-air, a violent bloom of smoke and fire. Debris rains into the Atlantic as stunned silence falls over the crowd. There are no survivors. NASA knew the risks. Engineers had warned of the O-ring's weakness in freezing temperatures, but pressure to maintain launch schedules silenced caution. 